Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can install iOS 7 on your iOS device without a UDID number or without an Apple developer's account. Now before I begin, I'm going to simply put a note out there, which is a simple warning. This is not condoned by Apple, and this is simply a security fall or flaw, excuse me, in the iOS 7 software update as well as the Apple Developer Program. And I'm simply going to be highlighting the security flaw and telling you how you can do it. Apple does not want you to install iOS 7 without a developer's account or without a UDID number, but it simply is a security flaw, and I figured I would show it to you guys because many of you guys were wondering what the security flaw actually was and how you can do this. So with that said, if you do decide to follow this guide and do decide to follow through with this security flaw, I'm not going to be held accountable. I simply am showing you how to do it, and this is against Apple's terms of use, just so you know. But if you do decide to go ahead and do it, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in these simple steps in the video. So first off, all you have to do is hook up your device to your iTunes and make sure that iTunes is open. And you're going to want to head and go ahead and click Backup Now. As you can see down here, I have the Backup Now in the background on my computer. So go ahead and click back Backup Now so in case something wrong happens, uh, you won't lose any data. Once it's actually backed up there, you're going to want to go ahead and back up to iCloud by going into Settings on your device and going to iCloud and then back up now. So same same type of process. Once you are backed up, you're going to want to go ahead and download the correct firmware for your device. I will link them in the description down there, a link to a website. So make sure you download the correct version of the software of iOS 7 for your iDevice. Right now, Beta 3 is the current beta, but make sure you download the latest beta and make sure you download the correct version for your device. I'm running the iPhone 5 on Verizon, so I'm going to go ahead and Google that if I didn't know what that was and download it. There are two versions for the iPhone 5 because of the different carriers, so just make sure you Google which firmware is correct for your device and download that to your desktop. As you can see here, I actually have mine, well you can't actually see it, but I have mine up, up in the upper right of my desktop and I have it on my desktop to make sure that I can actually restore to it. So once you actually have it on the desktop, uh, I'll actually show it to you here. As you can see, there are the firmwares right there. Uh, I have my iPhone 5 one right there and my iPad one right there. So I'll go ahead and move it back here. Once you actually have those firmwares on your desktop, you're going to want to go ahead and go into iTunes and do not click restore. If you are on iOS 6, any version of iOS 6, make sure that you you hold down on a, on a Mac, you are going to be clicking check for update. Before you click check for update, hold down the option key and then click check for update and you'll get a little pop up like this that allows you to choose where the firmware is. As you can see, I can choose mine is on the desktop and then I would click that firmware. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that as I currently am updated to the latest version of iOS 7. If you are on Windows, you're going to go ahead and hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click the check for update as well. You will get a pop up like this and you'll be able to choose where your firmware is depending on where you downloaded it. And once you do that, it will simply start updating your device. It will actually bypass the developer's check as well as the UDID check and your device will be updated and you'll be given a simple setup and uh, then you will be running iOS 7 on your device. So just to recap, make sure you back up, make sure you hook up your device to your computer, make sure you download the correct version for your iDevice uh, using the link in the description or Google, and make sure that you hold on a Mac, either the e on a Mac, hold down the option key, and on a Windows computer, hold down the shift key as you click check for update, and then find out where you downloaded the firmware, click that, and you will be restored, or you will be updated to iOS 7. Do not restore the iPhone because that will actually not work to actually uh, show the security flaw. If you do want to update without the UDID or the developer account, you are going to have to do directly an update. And finally, uh, Again, I'm not going to be held accountable for this. This is against Apple's terms of use, but I figured I would show it to you guys. And if for some strange reason your device is bricked or if you accidentally click restore or something and your device is not working uh, or this doesn't allow you to install it correctly, I do have a guide on my channel on YouTube that will show you how to unbrick your device. So you can go ahead and check that out and that will also be in the description. Just follow the steps in that 
video to unbrick your device if this does not work. But overall, guys, that was how you can install iOS 7 without a UDID number or without a developer's account. It is a flaw with Apple's security system in iOS 7 as well as the developer program. And this actually works with Beta 3. It will probably work with all the betas in the future. If it doesn't, I will up you, update you guys. But as of now, this works. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite it as well as subscribe down there in the description. I upload regular videos, so stay tuned for those on more on iOS 7 and Apple content. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel in the description. I update those on a regular basis as well. Uh, so stay tuned for more content on that. And also, if you're interested in getting paid Android or iOS apps for free, check out the link in the description. And anyways, stay tuned for more, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.